When it comes to India and Indonesia, uh, you know, there are a lot of things that we shared in common. We were two societies who struggled for freedom around the same time. I think there is a very natural feeling, uh, uh, attachment that we have for each other. Now, uh, when it comes to India and Indonesia, uh, you know, there are a lot of things that we shared in common, not just the alphabet I with which our country names begin, or even the location, the fact that we are close to each other, or even that we are large countries with enormous diversity. But the fact is that we were two societies who struggled for freedom around the same time, uh, where in each society there was a lot of sympathy and support for the other one. We got our independence around the same time. We were engaged in nation building in very similar circumstances. So when we look at each other, India and Indonesia, uh, I think there is a very natural feeling, uh, uh, attachment that we have for each other. And this, this emotional connect, I would say, in many ways, is a very uh, big resource for this relationship to draw upon. Now, uh, we uh, would have started, of course, our modern relationship in the 1940s, but I think uh, all of you, again, are very familiar that our ties actually go back hundreds, if not uh, a thousand plus years. Uh, and uh, there are so many traditions, uh, there are uh, so many archaeological sites, there are so many uh, cultural practices that we share, uh, which really uh, show what a strong bonding we have built over the years. And of course, the most famous example of that is uh, that in the state of Orissa, even now, they celebrate what is called the Bali Yatra, uh, where there is a historical uh, tradition of uh, people uh, setting out uh, to Bali.